have you ever wondered how to use an airless spray gun? Well, I'm here today to show you how to do that. What I have set up here is a 695 airless spray gun. They come in various sizes, from little ones all the way to this one here, and we got some that are even bigger than that. This is what we use right now to spray out a house, to do eaves, stucco, uh, wood, uh, to uh, put on a good coat, as opposed to just rolling and brushing. All right, this is an electric uh, airless sprayer. It needs to have at least 30 amps running a big extension cord off of a 110. You need to have make sure that you have a line that's like on a washer or dryer to run this thing, because if not, you'll burn it up. It's got a big motor in here that's electric. When you hook it up, you make sure all your fittings are tight, that your filter is in. There's a filter in here. You want to make sure that it's clean and good. And it's down all the way, tight. There's a bypass hose right here. So when you start it up, you're going to flip the switch on and you're going to bypass the hose. You're getting all the air out of the line right now, okay? Once you have all the air out of the line, then you can flip this switch up right here and it'll bypass the bypass and it'll go through this hose to your paint gun. Uh, this uh, airless has a, a smart switch so that when you're pumping paint, if it gets too low, it'll shut itself off uh, so you're not sucking air. Because once you start sucking air in your airless, you're going to lose pressure and your uh, spray is going to uh, finger on you. Okay, So all you have to do is flip, flip that off. Uh, this airless is set up for uh, more than one gun. You can use two guns on this or you can use it in unison with a power roller. This is the pressure right here, which I'll turn off so you don't hear it. This is the pressure to uh, go from uh, low, pr if you're spraying something small to very large, if you're using a very large tip, you can up the pressure. If you're using a heavier material, you need to up the pressure a little bit because if uh, you, you, you spray with too low a pressure on a higher viscosity paint, uh, it's not gonna come out and atomize right. Um, when you're all done with this, you need to make sure that there's, it's cleaned out really good and that there's oil in it. Right in the front right here, when you get started, you need to put in probably five or six drops of oil to keep the uh, hydraulic shaft lubed well because there's a seal in there. If it breaks the seal, then it'll suck air and it's not gonna give you the pressure that you need. This is the on and off right here. This is your smart switch right here to turn on or off so that you don't suck air when the paint gets too low. This is your dial for pressure to pressure up or down depending on the thickness of the paint or what you're spraying. You don't want a lot of bounce off, a lot of fallout. If you're uh, spraying with too high a pressure, when the paint hits the wall, if it's too high, it'll bounce back at you. It won't. It'll, you'll lose a lot into the, into the atmosphere and probably hit some cars. This is your dump valve. This right now is set to where it will bypass the gun or the hose. It just keeps flowing through, just cir circulating the, the paint, get all the air out of line. You switch it up, and then that's giving you pressure to the gun. This uh, is an aero spray gun. They uh, come from uh, different uh, manufacturers. This one has a filter in the handle. It has a swivel tip. It has a swivel tip so that when you're turning the gun on there, it doesn't just turn the a hose. It actually swivels around so it doesn't get kinks up. Um, there's a, uh, a safety on here so that when you're not using it, you can't pull the trigger with the safety on. Uh, we have right on here right now is a reversible tip and they come in different sizes.